If you're looking for a powerful tool to manage and schedule your social media posts across multiple platforms, in 2025 this video is for you. Today we're doing a deep dive into two major platforms, Blotato and Late. Blotato, already well known, and a strong alternative called Late. We will cover what each one offers, what they stack up on features and pricing, what they are good at, and ultimately which one might be the better choice for you. I'm Carol and welcome to the Late channel. Let's get started. First up, Blotato. And what is it? According to its site, Blotato is an all-in-one content tool combining AI writing, scheduling, cross-posting, and even AI video slash image generation. Some highlights are it allows you to remix content across platform. For example, take a YouTube video, turn it into Instagram posts, tweets, LinkedIn updates, etc. It supports scheduling via content calendar, slot scheduling and you can plan posts ahead for various social platforms. It's orientated toward content creators, solopreneurs or small businesses who want to scale their output. Some strengths of Plutato are it's very strong on content creation and reposting with AI assistance, many pieces from one source among others and it's good for solo creators or those who want one platform that does almost everything. Some limitations to note are, because it's broad, some users report it may feel overwhelming if you just need a straightforward scheduling. As with many tools that integrate AI and many platforms, complexity and learning curve might be higher. One of its biggest limitations is, as we said, because Plotato is extensive, you will probably need to pay way more to have full functionality. You will want to check how strong the scheduling automation side is, especially across many platforms in 2025. API change, reliability matters. As we can see, Blotato is solid, but now let's take a look at Late and see what it brings to the table and how it compares. Introducing Late, Late positions itself as a unified social media scheduling API and dashboard tool. You can schedule posts across Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and more. It also has an analytics tool. Key features of late are the following. A single REST API endpoint to post to multiple platforms. You have platforms like Twitter or X, Instagram, TikTok, Reddit, Threads, Pinterest, Blue Sky, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and simplifying integrations. The dashboard is made for creators or marketing teams. Drag and drop to upload posts, schedule, preview, bulk scheduling, content calendar, super easy. Then we have automation and it's developer friendly. It has official docs, support for CSV bulk uploads, team collaboration, analytics. Now let's talk about some strengths of Late. Late is designed with scalability and multiple platforms in mind, especially useful if you manage many accounts or clients. Late has a clear API and a dashboard separation covers both creators and developers who prefer code or automation. Late makes more emphasis on scheduling and posting infrastructure rather than on the create content for nothing side, which means less bloat if you just want scheduling. Some potential limitations are if you are looking for a heavy AI content generation and creative repurposing, Late may not have as strong or as broad a scope as Blotato in that specific realm. Late does have a new AI clipping feature to turn long videos into short or reels, but it is still in development and improvement. As always, check the platform specific limitations which platforms are fully supported, which features like first comment and auto add has, etc. Even all that, now we compare them head to head. Let's start with pricing showdown. This is often where decisions are made. Let's start with Blotato. In their website mentions pricing starting at around $29 a month for some of the content and AI features. Blotato doesn't have a free plan, but it offers a seven day free trial. The free trials include access to all features except the API. They include a limited amount of AI credits for image and video generation as well. We said it before, one of its biggest limitations is that because Blotato is extensive, 
it has AAA creation, scheduling, cross-posting, you will probably need to pay way more for full functionality. Their plans start with the starter plan at $29 per month for 20 social media accounts and 1,250 AI credits per month. It includes AI images and videos. They also have a creator plan from $97 per month and the agency plan from $429 per month. And now let's talk about late. The free plan is perfect for individuals and small brands. So you can have two profiles up to 20 social accounts for free, 10 social accounts per profile, and you have 10 posts per month. All that included in the free plan. Late plans start from $13 per month with the build plan. You can have 10 profiles, up to 100 social media accounts, and 120 posts per month. All of that just for $13. They also have the accelerate plan from $33 per month and the unlimited plan from $667 per month. All the plans include full API access, queue features, calendar, AI clipping, post scheduling, unlimited users, all 10 platforms, and first comment scheduling available for Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. As always, if you want to check the current pricing, especially any limits on posts per month, number of profiles, API calls, etc., I will leave the links in the description so you can compare the latest tiers. Now let's compare some of the core features of these tools side by side. Let's start with platform coverage and posting flexibility. Blotato has cross-posting and scheduling across multiple platforms using its dashboard and workflow. Good coverage. Late also brought platform coverage with the additional strength of a unified API endpoint and a dashboard. Especially friendly if you manage many profiles or, or embed into your workflow via API. Let's compare content creation and repurposing. Blotato is strong on AI content creation, remixing existing content into multiple formats, faceless videos, etc. And Late is more focused on scheduling posting with analytics and automation, not necessarily dedicated to AI video generation or heavy creative features. Despite of that, Late has the AI clipping feature to turn long videos into shorts or reels. As we said, Blotat is for creativity and Late is for streamlined posting. Let's dive into automation and developers or agency focused. Let's start with Late. Late is designed with developers and agencies in mind. It has unified API, team collaboration, multiple client profiles, bulk scheduling, white labeling. It also has automation workflows, for example, N8N and Sapier integrations, among others. Blotato also has API and automation workflows, N8N, the same as late, and Airtable integrations, but may require more setup and may be more orientated towards creators rather than agencies, developers, or managers. Let's dive into analytics and optimization. Date is a strong blog editors devoted to a scheduling best practice and analytics to refine a strategy. And Blotato may be more focused on output rather than heavy analytics for a scheduling performance though it does offer scheduling and publishing dashboards. A slight lean toward late for analytics and optimization. And finally, ease of use and learning curve. Because Blotato tries to do many things, as we said, AI generation, scheduling, cross-posting, it might have more features to learn, so it might be more difficult. Users have affirmed that Blotato has a steeper learning curve. And the late is more targeted toward the scheduling and posting, so it's potentially simpler if that is all you need. If we focus on simplicity and reliable post rather than heavy creation, late wins. Okay, so which one should you choose? Here are some typical scenarios. Use Blotato if you are a solo creator or a small team who publishes a lot of content and wants to generate and repurpose quickly. Also, if you're looking for a strong AI content content generation, images, videos, faceless content, plus scheduling. And finally, use Blotato if you are more focused on creativity, content output and repurposing than heavy multi-account automation. Now let's take a look at Late. Use Late if you are managing many social accounts, multiple clients or brands, or working in an agency. Use Late if you want a reliable scheduling across multiple platforms with one dashboard or API. 
strong automation, bulk uploads, and team workflows. And finally, if you want to integrate a scheduling into your developer stack, manage with API calls or scale posting operations rather than just creation. And if you want to track analytics as well. My recommendation is, if I were building or choosing today and my priority is reliable cross-platform scheduling plus automation plus managing multiple brands or clients, I would choose late. If instead my priority is content creation volume, repurposing, AI creative workflows, I will choose Blutato. But in many cases, I suspect Late offers a better foundation for scheduling and posting, and you can simply supplement with other creative tools if needed. So to wrap up, both Blotato and Late are strong platforms in the social media scheduling creation space. Blotato is excellent for content generation, repurposing, and many platforms, and Late is excellent for scheduling across many platforms, automation, API integration, and managing many accounts. If you had to pick an alternative to Blotato today with a strong scheduling automation focus, Late is absolutely worth consideration. And what I will do is start with the Late's free or lower tier plan, test your workflow, connect with your accounts, schedule posts, try bulk uploads, basically try a little bit late. And if you then find you need more heavy duty content creation, consider adding Blotato or similar tool into your toolkit. I will leave the links in the description to both platforms so you can check the current pricing and the features for yourself. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more updates and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.